What's up guys, Bulls and the Bears here with a little mobile update for you. Just going to look at the account and talk about Google because I have a dilemma with Google that I'm going to have to figure out what to do with by tomorrow. So before my, my next video, like I'm going to have to make a decision on Google. So I'm thinking this mobile update can kind of help me. I'll explain the situation and maybe you guys can respond of, of what you would do or what I should do. So the account is kind of flat today, which is crazy because the market is going off. And the account was good to begin with the day when the market opened and my all, all my options kind of recalibrated and repriced. We were up 400 bucks. But then I made a silly day trade. If you saw my, my tweet earlier today, um, you may have, you know, I alluded to it, how I uh, made a day trade today and tripled my monthly losses from trading. So I've obviously been doing the wheel strategy and it's been great. But this month, and this month only, I decided to dabble a little bit with trading, buying options, buying calls, buying puts, like 30 days out or so, just, just dabbling a little bit of the portfolio with that. Well, a dabble turned into much more than that, and I started trading more than I should have with multiple names at once, shorter expirations than 30 days, sometimes zero DTE, it got crazy. Before today, my net losses on trading were about two to 300 bucks. And I was like, okay, this is obviously hurting the account. It's getting me more emotional. I'm making stupid decisions. I'm just going to stop, which was the right move. But I couldn't help but be nagged by the fact that I had a net loss from all those trades. I really wanted to just get that back, clean the slate, pretend it didn't happen, and then move on. So I made a trade today to try to get those losses back. So I picked something kind of volatile, like super microcomputer, SMCI. The market gapped up. Stocks ripped after the open, like NVIDIA, like SMCI, like Tesla, like Google, like everything. So I said, okay, I'm going to play the call side. Super micro ripped up. It started to pull back. That's when I bought a call on the pullback. It pulled back further. I bought another one. So the 790 debit was the first call. The double down was at 680. And then I just kept selling off after that. And I sold it for 840, realizing a $630 loss. So friggin' stupid. So if I didn't do that, the account would be up like 500 bucks right now. And we'd be looking great. But instead, I got greedy. I got emotional. And in an attempt to get back my losses from trading this month, I instead tripled my losses. So... That's what I get. But anyway, we're going to move on from that. The month is still profitable, given how well the wheel has been. And um, even even after that, given this week and next week, the month should still be around $1,000 profit. So that's great. But knowing what I did and how much better it could have been is, is going to sting for a little bit. But anyway... Let's talk about Google. Here are all my positions right now. Well, Clean Sparks down here, down 878. It's actually doing pretty well. But um, all my leaps and stuff and covered calls and a Clean Spark cash secured put, they're all right here. And Snowflake's having a good day. Google's having a great day. Celsius, though, Celsius is just really pissing me off. We'll just check it out really quickly. I mean, look at this. Nice gap up. It participated pre-market opened up 4% and then sold off, got down to like down 2%. It was down 2% at one point today. What the heck? I thought everything was doing well. Not Celsius. Celsius just cannot get out of its own way. Good to see it bounce back to closer to flat, but still, man, come on. Anyway, enough of that. We're going to talk about Google here. So just look at the Google stuff. I have Google, a Google leap here, plus 971. That's awesome. But the Google covered call down 750. Ugh, not awesome. So obviously my upside is limited. No matter how big my leap gets profit wise, my covered call is going to offset it to some extent to where the net profit is around two to three hundred bucks, depending on the pricing. So I kind of knew what I was signing up for. And that's just how covered calls work. You get paid, but you limit your upside. But I have said that I like my position with Google so much. We'll take a look at the chart of Google while, while we're here. The one week look. Um, I like my entry so much with Google that um, I really want to defend this position. 
Here's a three month look. So I got into this position somewhere around here, around 150, even maybe a little bit below, below that. It was a really good spot on the chart. It had retested its previous all time highs. It was a nice break and retest on a nice large scale chart. Um, I like the company a lot. What's not to love is a, is a nice Mag 7 stock. So a great opportunity. I got a great contract too. A leap that expired at the end of next year. So plenty of time on it. It's just a great, <clears throat> everything about it was great. The, the time on the, on the contract, the price in the chart, the way it looks and everything. It was oversold too. Just like everything was perfect. And I really think it's a great opportunity. I have some really good potential with this position getting in at the price that I did. And you can already see that with my leap being up over almost $1,000. So I really want to try to defend this position, hold it as long as I can. And if my covered calls get pressured, roll them out, out and up, out and up, out and up, and just keep riding the stock higher. The problem is if the stock moves too quickly, your covered calls can get under pressure fast and the more in the money they go the harder it gets to roll so here's the covered call i sold the 155 strike for this week expires tomorrow but google's at 163 it's eight dollars and 30 cents in the money and to roll it out and up for a credit because i don't i really don't like paying debits i really don't um let's go let's click roll position so to buy this back, I'd pay eight thirty eight. If we go to the options chain, if I go to next week to roll up a strike to one fifty seven fifty, I'd only get six dollars and fifty cents. So I'm paying a one hundred eighty dollar debit to do that. No thanks. Let's go out another week. One fifty seven fifty, which by the way is still way in the money, but just a little bit better than what I have now. Still paying a hundred twenty dollar debit. No thanks. Go out another week. Well, now the 157.50 is not even an option anymore. Now it goes by $5 increments. So the 160 is the nearest one I can get to, which is further up than the 157.50. So therefore, it's going to be paying less and it's going to be harder to get that strike. So the, one, the 160 is now giving me 600. So it's a $240 debit to roll up to the 160. No thanks. October 18th. Now we're about one month out. The 160 looks like a $180 debit, $170 debit. No thanks. Go out another week. Now we're capturing earnings. Google has earnings around like uh, October 22nd or something, 23rd. Whatever The expiration I'm on, it has earnings this week, that week. So uh, that's inflating the, pro the premiums, which is good. It's going to help us be able to get that net credit better or more easy, but... Um, even then, the 160 call is still a net debit of about six bucks. So if I roll out to October 25th, I can improve my strike by five dollars to the 160 strike, which again is still in the money, and it's a small debit. So basically, I don't really bring in any new credits or anything. I'm just adding a bunch more time. So it's better, but it's still not great. If I go another week, November 1st expiration, so this is the very, very last week of October. I'd be pushing this all the way to the end of October. I could finally get a net credit on the roll from 155 to 160, and I get paid about $70 credit. Well, I like the credit. I like the improved strike, but now we're waiting about 40 days. This is over a month now, the very end of October. We're not at the very end of September, so we're talking over a month. Oh, I'm sorry, it actually... It just had it, never mind. It literally told me how many days. 42 days. So adding 42 days, improving the strike to 160 for a net, a net credit of 73 bucks or so. You know, one has to ask themselves, what's the right thing to do? Because obviously rolling it up to 160 allows me to be more allows me to be eligible for more gains on the leap by about another five four to five bucks um, the the difference in strike is five dollars but the delta on the leap isn't one so a five dollar move in Google isn't gonna be a five hundred dollar profit on the leap because the delta is only like 75 to 80 so I'm not actually getting a one for one return so you know I'd be able to capture probably like 400 bucks profit extra profit 
um, by doing this. However, I got to wait another 42 days. And there's no guarantee, by the way, that at the end of these 42 days that my that Google will be, you know, still strong, these calls on the money and me being able to sell it for that profit. Because if, if Google comes back down to 150 or something along the way, then, oh, yeah, I added extra time, but now I can't sell Google for the profit. Was it worth it? One might... One might say that selling now for the $200, $300 profit might be better than waiting 42 days for the chance to get an extra $400 or so. That's the thing. There's a guarantee, and then there's the problem. There's the chance. The bird in the hand, two in the bush. Two birds are better, but it's not in your hand. It's not a guarantee. You might not get them. Maybe it's better off settling for the one that you do have. That's the struggle that I find all the time with trading with the wheel strategy. Do you take the guarantee or do you roll the dice for a better outcome that might not happen? That's the question. But I've been telling you guys, I really want to defend this position. So this is what would be defending the position. So what do I do? Do I do it? Or do I, I could wait till tomorrow. I'm probably going to wait till tomorrow to, uh, to let Theta do it a little bit more on this covered call before I decide to roll it. So we're going to hold off, but that would be the move. Roll all the way to the end of October, the November 1st expiration. Get up to the 160 strike. Get paid a little bit at the same time, and then see what happens. The strike would still be in the money, so like, still under pressure. Um, and there's earnings too during that, that uh, time frame. So that could send Google even higher to like 170, 175 by the time uh, that covered call expires. In which case, there's no, there's, no, um, there's no saving it at that point. I'll just have to close it. But I will be eligible for more gains because I improved my strike. So yeah, lots of things to consider with this. That's how trading works. Um, so that, that's the move. So do I do that? Do I roll it out to November 1st? for that nice $130, actually no, it was like a $70 credit. So do I roll it to uh, the end of October for a $70 credit and an improved strike of about $5? Or do I just close it now for the two to $300 profit? Some, like I said, some could say a $300 profit now with you know cash returned in hand might be better than waiting a month and a half for a potentially higher profit. That's the dilemma, guys. Let me know what you think. Roll or don't roll? That is the question. If I don't roll and I close it, well, I realize a nice profit now, and I get another $3,000 in cash that I can use for another opportunity. So um, that's the deal. And if I do roll, then I'm just going to be sitting on my hands for another 40 days waiting for uh, the next covered call cycle to end. So that's it. Let me know what you think. Until then, uh, well... You guys will find out what I end up doing tomorrow when I do my weekly update video, my weekly recap video. So I'll let you guys know for sure, but um, I will be reading comments on this today if you guys have any opinions of your own of what I should do. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you all next time.